Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Hey, YouTubers, it's Deidre, owner of Spalding Decon Plano in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. We're here today at a suicide that wasn't found for a week, and so there is some decomposition on the bed as well. Even though it was just a week, uh, the house smells like decomposition, so I had to get my respirator on. I'm gonna walk you in and show you the scene, and then we gotta suit up. What we do know about this lady was, uh, she was a couple months out of rehab, don't know what kind of rehab. That's where the cops had to bust in the door to get in. And apparently she locked the bedroom door as well because that's cracked and messed up. Uh, and she shot herself on the bed and then was there for a week before anyone knew what was going on. So this happened in early December and we're just now taking care of this the day before Christmas Eve because there's a process to taking care of these situations that lengthens them sometimes. It looks like she used the pillows perhaps to muffle what she did. So those will be going in biohazard containers. You know, it's a little dry now because it's been here for several weeks. We also know that the fluids have gone through the mattress. They are in the box spring and have dripped through to the floor. I know. Poor, poor, poor big puppy dog. He's contaminated, so he's he's gonna go as well. Um, she's dripped through down to the carpet, so the carpet is going to. All right. We can see that we've got uh, Moose and Jared with us today. It stinks in here, so we're all masked up. Now we're gonna go suit up, and we'll be back soon. So, because some of you are fascinated with this show and the jobs that we do we thought you might find it interesting to see that uh, on as we're bo boxing up the biohazard materials the sheets comforter pillows um, we have found here hair stuck to the pillow where she shot herself and decomposed for a week and we're thinking a lot of this is skin right here and dried blood so, oh goodness, guys, just don't commit suicide, okay? All right, guys, so we have now boxed up pillows and blankets and sheets. And so we're going to take a little break to check in with the fellas and see what they're thinking about uh, this tragic situation during the holidays. The lady had children. There you go. So uh, we're finding all kinds of toys and items around the house that are making us sad. So uh, I don't know, maybe we'll be crying with you later. <laughs> Moose, Moose is here with us today. What's good, guys? How's Moose, it going? How are you feeling about this one? Uh, this is a depressing job, I have to say, because uh, I just found out she does has she has kids and everything, and it's just like Christmas is in two days, so it's just kind of a rough situation to deal with. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's definitely sad. I mean, seeing the uh, on the fridge in the kitchen, you can tell that the kids were pretty young. I think third grade, maybe fourth grade. Um, so yeah, it kind of hits home a little bit knowing that the kids are without their mom on uh, Christmas. So uh, sad, and it stinks in here. Hopefully making the house uh, clean again will help the family move on some, but oh boy. I believe I did tell you guys that because she was here for about a week before they found her, the fluids have gone through, and now we're getting a really good look at it. So Moose, lift up that mattress a touch. 
Oh my goodness, look at all those fluids in the box spring. We're, we're going to be here all day cutting this up. I know it's on the floor as well, but we'll show that to you when we get this bed out of the way. go down in this mattress to get out the biohazard. We're still cutting. We, we gotta go deep in this. It's down there too. This is three layers in. And you can three see three layers in. Three layers in. Okay. And it made it through the springs. Down to the well we know it went down to the bottom because it's in the box spring. Yeah. The biohazard portion of the mattress has been cut out. So the remaining portion of the mattress is now trash. So the, right now the boys are making it smaller to fit in trash bags. And then we're going to start working on the box spring portion. Oh, wait So those body fluids and blood dripped all the way down through the box spring to the floor. Jared, what is this going to mean for taking apart this box spring? That just means a whole lot more cutting. We're going to have to cut all the wood and yeah, just adds more time to the job. Moose, where, where's that wood going to go when we cut it out? Bio bag instead of a bio box. Yes, it is. Most you cannot and should not throw away porous materials with body fluids in them. Uh, I've been cutting out the uh, the carpeting for where she decomposed, and so far I cut off the first layer, and I'm working my way down to the second floor. So it did travel under the carpet into the padding, yeah. And now we're going to see it's in the sub floor in the second. Yep, yeah. it's in the sub floor. Right okay, we'll be right back. Okay guys, this job is done. Um, it turns out that those body fluids did go through the mattress, through the box spring, to the carpet, through the carpet, through the padding, and to the subfloor. So, it, 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 we've been here all day. Taking out the furniture so we could remove the carpet, because you can't just cut a hole in the carpet and leave the hole there. You take all the carpet and then build it back. Putting the furniture back, we did discover her suicide notes. That's none of our business. So we left them there for the family to find. How was this job for you? Howdy, how's it going? It was good so far. It was uh, definitely hard working for, for the holiday kind of job, but it was definitely fun. It's sad. Not really something that you look forward to doing, what, a couple of days before Christmas, something mm -hmm. like that, two days? Mm -hmm. um, and man, I, I wish the rest of this family well, and I, I hope that they're able to get through the holidays. Always appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for more episodes and thanks again. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. That's it guys, on to the next.